Phyllis Barone, Golf 360 TV. We're here at the 2024 PGA Show, and we decided to stop in on Devon Day, which is held every Tuesday before the show. And we had to check out Under Armour. We're with Dan Whitaker. Dan, tell us, what do you do for Under Armour? I do some independent testing for them over in the UK. Uh, so back in the UK, I've got the uh, Under Armour Performance Center for the UK, and when they bring out the new shoes, they generally send them over to me, and then I'll come up with some performance metrics, uh, how the shoe's going to perform, is it going to sort of improve performance for a player, what areas are we looking at, and I'll do quite robust testing through men, women, juniors, and uh, different handicap types, and then we'll put that all together and then send that back to the uh, main team over here in America. How do you do this? What do you do? Tell us about this. Yeah, so um, to start off with, when they've brought out the latest version of the shoe, they'll, they'll turn it over to me telling me what all the sort of benefits are going to be in terms of what advancements they've made into the shoe. So let's say that you've obviously got a spiked and a spikeless version here. So in the um, spikeless version here, they've got a TPU section running through the bottom of the shut sole. So this is to act like a spiked shoe. Well, they've got these these lugs that are going to be able to grip the turf and as we can actually see here it's actually got some grass actually attached to it so that's showing that when somebody's pushing against the ground the grounds are able to provide some energy back up through their legs through the body and out into the club so how you use the ground is you know quite a big thing in terms of being able to develop power and at home um, i've got force plates in the floor so they'll measure where your weight's moving and i'll be able to then start to see how the shoe is going to influence that weight movement in certain ways relative to your golf swing. And then we'll have a look at then most importantly of all, how that's going to re relate to the ball flight and what that's going to then uh, give you. To completely redesigned this shoe. Um, it's brand new, everything from scratch. So what they've got is they've got two different types of foams that they've put in. And um, if you imagine the f your foot moves in three directions, obviously it can move left and right, you know, forwards and backwards and up and down. Trying to harness all of those in a shoe is quite difficult because you can get something that's exceptionally stable, but having something that's got a lot of stability and mobility built into a shoe is very difficult. But what they've managed to do is that, with the way that they've constructed it, is that you know, you've got a band that's running across the shoe here, so that's pulling your forefoot into, into the ground. Um, you're providing your stability through the ball of the foot, but, and it, but it's also locking the heel in, so you don't want the heel to be able to move about. And then that's then pulling you into the ground. And obviously you've got the two foams, but what that's going to do is, um, is two foams allows you to have really good motion, but also with the way that the stability is built in, also be able to use all of the forces. So what we tended to see is in uh, other shoes, um, they'll be very good in, one, in, in two of the three dimensions but they won't be it's quite difficult to get all three and what we've found is since um since doing it out of all the people i put through the shoes and what we've seen here on the demo day is that people are getting um, more club head speed uh they're getting more distance you know we've seen anywhere up to 16 yards of gain but is that because you're getting like you mentioned more stability so you're kind of grounded so to speak right yeah um, it's, it's, it's both you, you're getting a lot more stability but you've also got motion so you know if you, if you imagine if you just had a normal tennis shoe on um, you'd have lots of motion but not very much stability so you want to have it's getting the the two to work together is where the key is and that's what what's what's been coming out of this shoe 